Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Actually, I'm recording two. That's Wellington, he's playing with him's ball. Here's what he's playing with. I have two Dollar Tree hauls for you today. Um, but I'm gonna break it up into two because I have a lot of stuff. I have my iced coffee in my Wonder Woman cup. It was super warm this morning. 73 in my house, but so yesterday I went and got my flu shot and my COVID booster, my second COVID booster. And I had some questions about this. This is a Dexcom. Sometimes I wear a fancy colored patch. It just helps it stay on. It looks like a tattoo, but it's not. Anyway, I had my COVID vaccine, my second booster yesterday. So I was told to wait 90 days after I had COVID in May. And when I had COVID, this was part of how it manifested in me. I was so hot. So I've showered, I have moisturizer on, so I'm not sweating, I'm just shining. Thought I would share. All right, I found all kinds of fun stuff at my Dollar Tree, so let's get into it. Um, I'm sorry, what? It's a potion bottle. Now, I have some signs from last year that I wanna make some potion stand-up sign bottles with. So I thought this would go along with it for my mantle. It's plastic. I've only seen literally one in all of my travels. I'm not sure why I'm into Halloween this year, but I'm really liking the, this purple and jewel tones. So you'll see a theme here, kids. Also, I got some Thanksgiving stuff as well, but I picked up three packages of these. These are the small, camera's over here. These are the small little pumpkins with the plastic tip. Um, I'm going, if you can see, or if you saw my garland, I'm going neutral this year with like leather, pleather, it's not real, like browns and blues and kind of earthy. I'll show you that in a minute. So I grabbed some of these um, in two different sizes in white just to put in like a bowl or something because I know I have some leather fake leather of this size and these are like okay so the little ones are what look like sock material to me and the big ones look like fleece which is interesting they're same color just different fabrics and then as i showed you i did grab two pumpkins that are in this fake leather vinyl <laughs> think cheap lazy boy recliner that's what it feels like um, because I have some other like leather texture. I want to go with earthy texture and I feel like this is good. So I grabbed just two. I have so many pumpkins that I'm getting rid of. And by that, I mean, I'm giving away or donating. It's kind of frightening. I don't normally print my receipts anymore, but I need the store number to figure out what store is what on my bank statement. It's, to, it's time to start getting my taxes ready. I bought some of this multi-purpose spray. I didn't find it great, but I may not have been using it properly either, but it says great for photos, fabric, paper, glass. We'll see. Um, I used another can, but I grabbed this one to try. So we'll see. Maybe I just didn't use it in the right, the right way because um, I'm in the middle. Sorry, my allergies. I'm in the middle of a DIY right now. I'm just waiting for the pieces to dry. Okay, here we go. I picked up some of these glow in the dark, I think. Vampire, yep, they're glow in the dark vampire teeth. But what I do with these when my people are in the office, I buy donuts and you like get the Krispy Kremes and you squeeze and you put these in the middle with some eyes and they look like vampire donuts. So I thought that would be fun. I need to put all the stuff aside that I got to, for work because I got a lot of stuff for work. Um, let me see here. Oh, I picked up some of this water repellent, waterproofing spray for your shoes. Uh, let's see. It just says, quit that, like surface to be treated, waterproofing formula creates an invisible layer. So when I go to London, I want to spray my boots that I'll be wearing and make them water repellent. We'll see. I'll see if it works. Um, so I grabbed that. And then I picked up, 
Oh, for my work, when I work football games, I need note paper just to write things down. So I grabbed this pad because it says born to be fabulous. Come on guys, we're all born to be fabulous. I have my camera on my phone in backwards. So my can fuzzled on where the camera is. And these are just by the um, Crown Jewels brand. It's perfect. I just, oh, oh my God, I love it. Each page says fabulous. So that's for me to take to my part-time job. And these are for me to travel with. Um, I specifically wanted these because of the 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. And I liked, I like the peach tea. Um, I'm trying not to get sick when I go abroad. Cold, flu, monkeypox, COVID, the plague, whatever. So you'll see a lot of things that I have picked up to try to avoid the plague of any type. So I grab these just to throw in. Helps me drink more water. We talk about that on the regular. Here, there's a bag for Halloween stuff. Then I got started buying some treats for my brother's dog, Jody. Um, so I got her some dental sticks. And then look at this. It's like a waffle. A woofle. So I grabbed her one of those and I got her one of these. And I'm going to get one of the buckets and just fill it with a bunch of different treats for her. And I have a toy upstairs for her because she needs the stuff. You know, she's a good dog. I picked up for me. I, I needed it. Now, this is definitely a small pour a small size like I should really go get a full size at CVS but for now this will work and it is ladies speed stick which is what I use so there's that and then also for my I don't know if these are for my trip or not let's see yes these can be for my trip so what I do because I am ketogenic and I don't eat carbs and sugar and a lot of processed stuff I put a bag in my luggage for the return trip and a bag in my backpack for the trip over. Any trip I'm going out and then trip back. I will be traveling from 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 10.30 a.m. Green Mountain Time? I'm not sure what the time zone is called in England, but it's five hours ahead of us. That's a long day, and I need to have, make sure that I have food for me. So like these, I totally can have these on the airplane. I can have them at the airport in between flights. If I get hungry, I just need to have something available. And these are like a perfect portion. They are not, they are not in any way, shape or form their best price to purchase them. This is literally a half an ounce, but it's a good serving size and it will work for me with other in conjunction with like a meat stick and whatever i can make a meal out of this which is what i need so this is tangy ranch so i grabbed two of those um we'll put those in here unfortunately or fortunately i guess however you decide to look at it when you travel you have to make sure now i will get to order a meal the flight so i leave here at 7 30 and i get to jfk at 9 30 give or take. I have to find my way to the international terminal and find my gate. Then at 1030, I take off. Yes, 1030. And I'm on the airplane for seven hours. Now I, it's an overnight flight. So hopefully I'll be able to sleep a little bit and I'll show you what I'm packing and things of that nature. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to be able to sleep a little bit. We'll see. But um I just, like I said, I'm going to seven hours on an airplane. I need to make sure I have plenty of water. I need to make sure. So that's the vitamin C. I will drink one of those on the airplane for hydration. And I also have Gatorade, G, uh, zero sugar Gatorade packets that I will bring again for um, hydration because hydration is your biggest proponent of jet lag. So we try to avoid that by drinking lots of water, not lots of coffee, lots of water, and resting and I will bring moisturizers for my hands and face and yeah okay next thing I picked up this dark can of this organic valley tomato sauce this was really good I've used one other can and this is good by May 28th best by May 28th or 24th so I grabbed another can to have I have two cans now 
I don't often eat tomato sauce because it is kind of high in sugar, but it, I do eat it, just not a lot. Okay, apparently we're back to Halloween. <gasps> Look at these guys. Um, tell me this is not everything. And when I take this tag off, it'll hang properly. Tell me that's not everything. What the heck? It is definitely new to my stores this year. And it's like a metal pumpkin stretched with some tooling and then tooling at the top. And then this like, once I cut that off, it'll be better. This velvety thing. And I can hang these or sit them and light them up. And I think I have other colors around here somewhere, but I got the black one. And this is what I do at a store. If I see something I like that I'm almost 100% sure comes in other colors, I just um, grab what I see and then hope to find the other colors at a different store. Don't wait thinking you're gonna go into a store and find all the colors, because you might not. So just grab what you see. Um, I'm sorry, it's a little pumpkin candy dispenser which I think I'm gonna try it out but I am pretty sure that candy corn will go in here and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna fill this up for my niece for her classroom and then she or her children can maybe get a piece of candy corn or for a decoration I don't know but it's the pumpkin little gumball dispenser but I'm thinking candy corn will work. Let me know if you've tried candy corn because maybe, maybe it won't work. I'm not sure. Um, in the arts and crafts department, I found these signs, which I think will be great. For my house, I typically do the black and white and the red and black all intermingled, to be honest with you. But like, I would make this more of a fall sign. I would love it to be like, you know, happy Thanksgiving or welcome fall or pumpkin spice or something like that but i love that the oops that the fabric is already glued down and then this is chalkboard which of course you know you can paint or whatever on it but it's two layers i think this is great for a dollar 25 thank you very much dollar tree then i picked up and i saw somebody on my facebook that made fantastic things with these um i believe you'll have to join the group to see what she did but it is awesome so I grab these plates. There are 18 in here uh, for my work. We're having a little get together when, because we're going all, we're going back to the office two days a week starting in October. So I'm gonna have a little Halloween. So I grabbed some plates and then I got the napkins, but she gave me a great idea to do some type of decoupage with this because I love it, I love it. But this set is for work. You, I never understand this, but you get 24 napkins and 18 plates. And I will tell you, the plates are not the best quality for like holding heavy stuff, but I think we're just gonna do like maybe pizza or something. So I will put this in the bag of work stuff because the next haul, I believe I have a ton of work stuff. Um, This haul, oh yeah, I do have some more stuff. Okay, so I found at my Dollar Tree, all kinds of stuff here. Okay, these did come in purple and orange so far that I have found. So let us do, let's do a thumbnail. No. So these are the colors I got them in and I think they're gonna be fantastic on my porch. To be honest with you, they were a dollar twenty-five. I'm not really concerned if they. Oh, well. And here's what happens when you don't check. Somebody left this one on, but I don't know that I will light them up. I think I'm gonna hang them. But I don't know why people insist on turning things on and killing the battery. Check them also because a lot of them, the bottom piece had fallen out of the ones at the store where I was. But I think what I'm gonna do is just hang them or put them on my porch, like out front. My porch is covered, so I kind of get away with a little more out there. And then I'm gonna do a Halloween tree and I got these to kind of stick out of the Christmas tree to give it a little more zhuzh, if you will. The glitter is like, legit coming off of these and they had them in black and maybe purple i didn't see the purple but i'm assuming that they did come in purple 
but I'm going to use these in my little Halloween tree as well as I picked up one more of these because I would like to be able to cut them off and stick these in the Christmas tree as well. These definitely scream to me um, Nightmare Before Christmas. This one is a hot mess, but it was the last one and I can, I can fix it up. So I grabbed one more of those because I had some. I just have a couple more things. Let's see what we picked up. Oh, I grabbed ugh, four. See, I'm going to show you. That is all orange glitter. But for my work, I grabbed some of these cauldrons. I thought, you know, we could put stuff in them depending on what we serve. Um, you get four of these little cauldrons. And these definitely came in orange, purple, and black. I just grabbed the black. And I think that is a repeat from last year. What else did I get? Oh, for my trip, also covered in glitter. So for my suitcase, no, for my carry-on bag, I need a clear bag for TSA for my liquids. I don't know if this is the right size. I don't care if it's the right size. I just grabbed this to hold all of my toiletries and stuff that I will carry on the plane with me. And none of it will overtake this. There's just a couple things like moisturizer, deodorant, face wipes will go in here, toothbrush, toothpaste, and that's not even really considered liquid. Um, and I think that's it, maybe a little bit of makeup. So nothing major, but I need to put it in a clear container. And this is clear. And then I should have grabbed a second one because for my insulin, I need a separate bag. And I don't know if it has to be clear or not. I'll have to look up that on TSA. Uh, but a second bag for my insulin and stuff, and that will go through on its own. But I like this because I could put like my face wipes here and then any of the liquids in here. I am getting TSA pre-check on Monday. I have to go to my appointment. And so in theory, if they have a TSA pre-check at the airports that I'll be traveling through, I don't have to take anything out of my bag. Now, I don't know if London Heathrow would do my TSA pre-check, but the airports here in the United States will, and then I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to take this out, but it's always better to be um, prepared if I do have to take it out for any reason. So I was just looking for, oh, I scratched myself. I was just looking for a clear, cheapy, clear plastic, better than a Ziploc bag. So I grabbed that for my travel stuff. Um, I found this and it's going to have to go in my tear tray. It says pumpkin spice and everything nice. It's a pillow. It's fine. It'll make, uh, it'll be nice and sturdy to stand up in my tear tray. But look at all the coffee. Now I will tell you that I have on my other haul, the wood stand-ups that match these cups. Well, I got the two coffee ones, but they are stand-ups that match these wooden and then the little plastic or wooden signs that match. Well, I'm loving how everything is kind of coordinated. Yeah, the cups are exact because it says spice it up and happy pumpkin spice. So that's pretty exciting. Um, this obviously will hang, but I'll just put it behind. I'll probably trim that off and just sit it in my tear tray for the for Halloween or Thanksgiving. I mean, let's be honest, this can be for fall. I will leave it out until Christmas. Yes. I will. Now, the last and possibly the most exciting thing. For no other reason than it's fabulous. I'm sorry. What? I almost want to get a second one just so I can pop this head and put it on a wreath on my door and forget the sign. Or use these two pieces. They can pop off the wood and put it on a front door wreath. I know. So I probably will do that. I'll grab a second one that I can pop apart. And if I ruin one, because this is everything and this needs to be on a door wreath or even just hang it up, like cut it off here and just hang it on my door. I don't even need to make it a wreath. I love it. <laughs> I am so into this vintage Halloween stuff. It's killing me. Probably because of the black cats, if I had to guess. All right, so that, oh wait. Maybe this should be my thumbnail. Well, let's get this out of the way. I love it. It's everything to me. 
And that is all I got at that Dollar Tree for this haul. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. You can follow me on Instagram where I post a whole lot more like personal content. And then we have a Facebook group. All the links are down below. And it's a lot of fun. And we've been sharing some crafts that we're all making and giving each other ideas. And it's a place that like if I do a DIY, you can ask me questions a little more easy over there and we can have more conversation. All right, guys, have a good one, and I will talk with you later.